Hey guys, this is Holy Grail 903 here with a long awaited Lego castle review. Today I've got the King's Castle Siege, 300 and, I mean 973 pieces, 10 minifigures, and a dragon. Um, here's the front of the box, big picture, very nice. It's got a fold up flap that reveals a big picture of the castle. Very cool, got the dragon attacking down there, so extra weapon rack. Lots of just different details about the set. Um, around the box, back the box. Over here you've got the little, like, it shows you how you've got, can arrange the different parts that the castle comes in. Um, there's uh, something that they used to do that they don't do anymore that I really miss is they showed the different types of weapons and things you got in it. The set, I like that. There's just more um, pictures and stuff. So yeah, then on to the set. Alright. Here's the set. It does not come with this blaze plate. I just put it on there so that it would be good. Um, first off, I'll start with the dragon. It's the black dragon with the red horns and red wings. It's very cool. Complements the um, red one very well. I like it. It's got a little flame that it opens. Its mouth opens really easily. It's very cool. Its legs are adjustable. It's got a good tail design. I really like these dragons. I hope to see some more different kinds of dragons come out. I know there's three out right now, but I'd like to see more. Now onto the skeletons. There's a white, white skeleton with a buckler shield and a scythe. Um, there's another white skeleton with buckler shield, and it comes with a flail. There's also a, um, black skeleton that comes with a scythe. And there's the lead general skeleton that comes with the, like, real silver armor, a big shield, and a huge double-bladed axe wielded by only the strongest of warriors. And then there's the knight on horseback. He has the more so looking French face, um, long shield. Um, he's got a lance, a sword. This is one of the three horses that you get the like king's like dressings on the horses. A blue helmet, very cool. Um, there's the drawbridge with the portcullis, the portcullis is held up, you can pull it out, it comes down, and you can raise the drawbridge with this lever back there, you push it down and the drawbridge comes up, it can only go up about that high, or else it'll break, um, it's pretty cool, I definitely like the drawbridge, now onto the gatehouses, it comes with a large shield, archer pit, like, um, pikes with banners, uh, there's like vegetation growing, very nice touch. Up here you've got the like mini catapult. Comes with three of those little brown rock things. Um, we've got an archer with bow and arrow and quiver. He's the one that looks French with the brown hair. Nice face. Very nice. Now onto this one. This is the one with the screaming face. The double-sided head. So he's smiling and then he's screaming. Pretty cool. Um, so yeah. And back there, there are doors. If you can see them. There's doors. Those are my own touch. They do not come with the set. So, that's why. Back there's the back doors. You can open them. They're really cool. I have a lock on them. The lock doesn't come with it. But I put them on there anyways. Um... And here, there's like an extended long way. You've got a stairwell coming up. Another thing about, is like on this tower, there's not many ways, there's no ways to get up there. So I incorporated ladder systems. Uh, I suggest you do that if it, it looks a lot better that way, but that's just me. And down there, there's a weapons rack that comes with a spear and two swords. And over there, there's a scaffolding that comes with a catapult. That the ca scaffolding does not come with it, but the catapult does. Um, 
and it comes with three of those black rocks, and it's put right there. Um, and over here, we've got the king minifigure. Very, very nice. He's got the red um, haired face. That's in some knights, um, mostly dwarves. He comes with a like long Excalibur shield, kingly armor, and blue cape. Very nice. Back there's his throne. Um, there's fire and things near him. Um, now, there's also comes with a barrel and two goblets. Two goblets, and inside the barrel comes a blue and green gem. Very nice. Um, up here, there's a treasure chest, and there's supposed to be a little treasure holder that has a, uh, like, place where you can put the sword so it sticks like that up in front of the treasure chest, but I forgot to put that in there because I ripped it apart the part. In the treasure chest, it is a full treasure chest. It comes with a set of gold coins. Right there. A set of gold coins. It also comes with a uh, emerald, uh, ruby, topaz, and sapphire gem. Very nice. Um, up here, there's like the princess's tower or something. This flag doesn't come on it. Um, yeah, it's very nice. I like it. There's two small shields right there. Um, and over here, uh, here's one of the knights it comes with. Comes with the knight with shield and axe. It's the knight with like five o'clock shadow, a little smirk on his face, and the black hair. One of my favorite knights. And then my favorite face on the knights is this one, the elder man face. He comes with the shield and axe, and they both have the chainmail armor on that I liked a lot more than the new armor. And it also comes with one crossbow, two crossbows. So you get crossbows if you don't if you prefer crossbows over bow and arrows. Up there there's a banner. Banner over there. And right here, this is a flip bridge. So you can have people walking across and they tip it. But personally, I have a little anchor to keep it so they can actually use it. Um, and over here there's a little glitch that happened with me when I was building it. There's a gap right there. It probably doesn't happen with everyone, but it happened with me. So I've had to put a little barrier there. But so that that little barrier is not like a glitch in the actual set. It's just something that I did wrong. Um, and over here, there's a break-in wall, which also you can see I built it wrong. Uh, that wall goes out when it's supposed to be even with that wall, so it's kind of lopsided. So um, it's really I have to have it anchored down and stuff. So it really doesn't work that well for me. Because mine's messed up, but you, the skeletons just push it in, and there's like an opening. But I won't show you because since it's anchored and stuff, I'm not sure if I can get it open without breaking it. So, yeah, it's an awesome set. Personally, my favorite castle set. Again, it does not come with the gray base plate, but you can get them online or at Lego at a Lego store near you for about fifteen dollars. The big gray ones. Um, which personally I would suggest putting underneath your castle, trying to get one because it makes it a whole lot cooler to have a courtyard full of knights than just carpet with no knights in there. So yeah, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a nice day. Bye guys.